Okay, hello. Uh, we've given you three uh, Circle Theorem exam questions we would like you to have a really, really good go at. And what we're particularly looking at here is your quality of, ex of explanation. Uh, they are quite harsh on this in the, uh, in the actual exam, so you do have to get certain things spot on to get full marks. So let's start by having a look at them. Um, first one here. Uh, it says angle BAD is 52, so work out the value of uh, angle X. Um, this one's relatively straightforward. Hopefully you can spot um, that uh, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference, or vice versa. This is half the angle, half the size of that. So the answer should be 104 degrees. I tell you what, instead of me writing it, let me just pop the answer up in front of you so we'll have a look at it together. So, you get one mark for saying it's 104 degrees, and you get one mark for saying the angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference. Um, you could also say the angle at the circumference is half the, uh, at the angle at the centre. Um, but you've got to say uh, one, one way of those. Um, I've underlined some key words here. These are actually highlighted in the mark scheme, so angle, centre, twice circumference, those are the key words there they're looking for. Uh, the next one, uh, size of angle Y, well it's 128 degrees because opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So that means they add up to 180 degrees. So that angle there and that angle there add up to 180 because I'm sure you can see the quadrilateral uh, there. Again in the mark scheme it has highlighted the, uh, the words opposite angles and cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary or add up to 180. That is what they're looking for for full marks. Um, moving on, uh, here's the uh, next one I've got. Uh, I'll just put it up in front of you. Let's have a look at this one together. So A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference of a circle. A, B, C, and D. Uh, P, Q is a tangent to the circle and it touches there at point D. Angle uh, B. Uh, D, uh, Q is 72 degrees, which you can see it because it says it there, and angle A, B, D is 63 degrees, and again it says it there. So it wants to know the size of this angle X. So the circle theorem you're looking for is the alternate segment theorem. So the answer is it's 72 degrees, that'll give you one mark, because angles uh, in alternate segments are equal or you could mention the alternate segment the um, theorem, that's fine, but please do say that they are equal. So that angle there is the same as that angle there. Uh, the next one, angle Y, it's asking for here. Um, <coughs> again, in this one, like the last question, there is a quadrilateral inside this circle here. I'm just outlining it there. So opposite uh, angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary, that means they add up to 180 degrees. So the answer is, uh, well that's 72, we worked that out on the last question, that one there must be 108 degrees. Um, which you can see my answer there, because opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary or they add up to 180 degrees. You get one mark for that and you get one mark for the explanation. I didn't take myself there. There we go. Um, so I hope that one's okay. Uh, the last one, <coughs> here we go. Um, a, B, C and D are points in the circumference of a circle. So again, there's actually a quadrilateral in here. So we'll have to see if we're going to use the um, cyc uh, cyclic quadrilateral um, point, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, it's giving you some information here. So show that Y is 35 degrees. So that's this angle here. So. There's a few bits and pieces you've got to do, and you do have to write down all of these workings for it to get your full four marks. It's not the hardest question in the world. It is quite tricky, but it's not the hardest question in the world. Um, but to get full marks, you do have to explain yourself. So let's have a look. Um, ang angle DCB, so DCB here, so that angle there uh, is uh, 68 degrees. Uh, because angles that are opposite in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. So that one and that angle there, the whole pink thing, are opposite and they're in a quadrilateral. So that's why this angle here is 68. And I'll write that in there quite big. 
slash 68. So once you know that that is 68, you can then work out this angle in here, because you can just do 68 take away the 33, which gives you that angle in there, which is 35. Um, the mark scheme says for this one you must show the subtraction. So you must show that you have done that bit of work there. In, that's a straightforward calculation, but you get a mark for showing it, and it's only a four mark question, so please don't try and skimp on showing your workings. Make sure they're crystal clear. Uh, so if that angle in there is 35 degrees, that means this angle up here, angle Y, is 35 degrees as well. I don't know how many of you have spotted it, but if that's the radius, and if that's the radius, you've actually got an isosceles triangle going on. So angle Y is 35 degrees because in an isosceles triangle, um, the angles at the end of the two equal sides are the same. So that's 35 and that's 35. And that will get you your full four marks. And the last one there, part B, let's have a look. Work out the size of angle Z. So angle Z is here. To work out angle Z, first of all, we need to work out this one here. Now, we know both of these are 35, and we know there's 180 degrees in a triangle. So we're going to do 180, take away 35, take away 35. That will make that 110 degrees in, in that. Um, but it wants angle Z, and hopefully you've spotted that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference here. So uh, that angle there is twice that one. So that means it's 55. Here is my full answer at the bottom. So I've done the angles in a triangle part. Again, you must state that and you must show it. I know angles in a triangle you probably learned at primary school or in year seven, but to get the marks you've got to show it. And uh, down here, angle Z is 55 degrees because the angles on the circumference uh, on the circumference is half the angle at the center. Um, and that's how you get your full marks for circle theorems. Thank you very much.